but you'll go see some thug ass movie called Barbershop with that heathen low down dog Cedric the Entertainer called Martin Luther King a whore and said Rosa Parks didn't do nothing. She was just too tired to move her big black ass and you niggas started. But had that nigga said that about Jackie Kennedy, who was a hoe? She was Bobby's girl before she married Jack, a slut hoe. Had he said it about Queen Elizabeth, that nigga be dead now. But you don't see nothing wrong with it. Hmm? Hmm? And the only reason that punk thug and the rest of them can be in Hollywood and do their movies is because of us. Not because of their mama or them niggas were smart. My old stupid brother called me. He was the first black way up with Enron. Big money. Millions. told me how good he was doing. Then they got busted. He lost everything. I called him the other day and <clears throat> said, you know you're going to jail. He huh? said, I didn't do nothing wrong. He said, look, they put them white folk in jail, nigga. You know you're going. <laughs> he lost everything, his house, his wife. When a nigga's dog run away. Called me two days ago. They about to repossess my car. What must I do? Don't park in front of the house. <laughs> See, when you go through all them emotional changes, the universal God intelligence stops flowing. Yeah. Huh? Them folks next door, they might be doing worse than you doing. Stop comparing yourself to anything but you. You know how special you are? Never before or after will there ever be another you. Huh? Huh? It didn't say uh, if you educated or got billions in it. Never there before. Ever been one of you before or one after. Don't you know how special you are? I didn't tell them I was because it ain't their business. The problem I had with my wife, I tried to explain to her that fear and God do not occupy the same space. She was scared of debt. Hmm? When we gonna pay Sears and Roebuck? You act like we got some money. We don't have no money, baby. And when I get money, Sears and Roebuck is not my first priority. They knew I wasn't gonna pay for that stuff when I got it. Hmm? You know, on the back of the application, they said, who's going to pay for this? I wrote your mama. <laughs> I walked in the house two weeks later. I thought my old lady was just going crazy. She said, here's a letter. Here's a letter from Sears and Roebuck. It's here. It's here. Final notice. I said, what's wrong, baby? Final notice. Here it is. Final notice. Let me see it. Final notice. Mm. Final notice. Mm. Thank God we won't be hearing from them no more. <laughs> They were brilliant. They had the scientists with them because they saw something in Africa. They didn't know what it was. And they were studying it. And they get off the boat and they see these bones. And stand in living and say, well, these are different bones. So they sent back to the boat for the scientists. And they came out and they said, well, why are y'all so upset? He said, well, we've never seen like He said, these is African bones. About 200 years old. He said, why they look so different? <laughs> These was the niggas that refused to get on the boat. And they killed them here. That's dignity you looking at. That's dignity. 200 years later, I look at these dead bones. And they tell a story of dignity. Huh? Black folks is in America is 12% of America's population. As we sit here now, 87% of everybody in America that should be on kidney dialysis machines is black folks. Don't that bother you? Yes. Yes. They don't have no kidney dialysis machines in all of Africa. 
Too poor? No, they don't need them. Huh? You know what blows your kidneys out? Huh? Anger? Fear? Paranoia? You know what cools your kidneys out? Awareness and gentleness. Huh? Not no prescription. Huh? That's what changes that around. This so you understand somewhere the young people and their violence. If you have menopause tonight for the first time, you get cold, huh? chill, you get hot. Y'all, come on, y'all know? Huh? That's a naturalistic God transition. That's a hormonal change going on in your body. And you look at him, you can be married to him 50 years and have an attitude. Huh? Dear, how you like this cobbler? I'm eating it, ain't no nigga. Huh? But wait, you know what I'm saying? You yell at the grandchildren. Yell at your mama, your daddy. That's a natural hormonal change. And if that change can make you hostile, what do you think these hormones they're putting in the cattle and beef and the chickens is doing to your children? Huh? If God made that hormonal change, what about this change these nigger hating white folks hating crackers is injecting into your food chain? And then you blame it on your children. Malt liquor is made by white beer companies but only sold in black neighborhoods because it got a thing in it called manganese and once you get X amount of manganese, you'll kill your mama. <laughs> Colonel Sanders Kentucky Fried Chicken can't use the word chicken no more because they genetically engineer them. They grow them with no feet, no beaks, and no feathers. And you put that crap in young folk and wonder what's wrong with them. Huh? Get in touch with your spirit. Huh? Get in touch with your spirit. And so I leave you tonight and I say lay it pause and it will make you crazy, make you hostile, make you jump on your mama. Them lead pipes we got. Not to mention the stuff they drop at night while we sleep. Huh? Make y'all think they spraying for mosquitoes? Huh? What's that mosquito they come over? They come over here. What do they call it? The West Nile. West Nile. That, uh, look, the West Nile. You know where the Nile is in Egypt? Hmm? They say the mosquito came from Egypt to America. Say how? On a plane. Well, they ain't got no non-stop planes from Egypt to America. How come that mosquito didn't get off at the first stop, huh? <laughs> the number one cause of death in America, 